last video, we got the headlight thing all figured out. We're moving back to the engine. Uh, we're gonna show the turbo install. We're gonna show the intake install. We're gonna show the intercooler plumbing. And we're also gonna show the plumbing for the oil and coolant lines for the turbo. A couple cool things to get done today. And let's get it. Okay, so I wanted to show a little clip of us putting the heat resistant tape on the firewall there. Another clip here of the intake EGR tube delete. There's a bunch of write-ups on how to delete the intake of all the emission stuff, but that 180 pipe you see there for the heater hose is how um, we blocked off the heater core. And then the butterfly valve plugs there. I uh, wanted to show that as well. And another clip here of the backside of the EGR delete with the two halves of the intake put together. Here's the part number for the studs. It's a part number for the nuts. These are, they call these a one-time use. They're kind of crimped on the end there. And then here's the part number for the washers. I think it said like five millimeters or something like that. Let's get this turbo put on here. This water line that goes right to the block, and this has to be started before you actually bolt the turbo on because there's no clearance in there. So I'm gonna try to get that done and see if we can get it. got it all nice and tight. I did want to make a note too. We got the seven layer gasket here. These ones are supposed to seal better. Um, and we did all new OEM Nissan studs on there as well. Now, we've got our oil feed, um, comes right out of the top of the turbo there. We're gonna come around, we'll go underneath here, over the top of the bell housing. We're gonna come right down along the side of the lower portion of the intake. Now the only other line that we got here is the coolant line. This one's gonna go around the bell housing as well. It's gonna go end up going to the upper radiator hose. So if you've got all your emission stuff deleted on the intake, um, you've got a little bit more room to play with on wherever you wanna route it. But if you've got all your emission stuff, you might have to find a, just find a nice place to feed it through here on the bottom. I'm gonna end up zip tying this or putting a hose clamp somewhere so that it can stay out of the way of the heat. All right, so I just followed the oil line with the coolant that's going around here. I zip tied them to each other. Um, seems like we got plenty of slack there. 
Um, went straight up underneath the intake and came through right here. Because when this upper radiator hose is on, it's got a T fitting in it that's going to go straight down into here. So, perfect spot. I might end up coming through right here and then maybe on the top, but we'll see once we get the hose in. So a quick note on this intake pipe here. The pipe that comes for this on the ISR kit doesn't fit. There's, I tried for hours. I saw some other stuff of some other people having issues with it online. What I ended up doing with it is I cut a chunk out of it right in the middle and then clocked it whichever way I figured out was gonna work. Just put another little hose clamp, might end up giving that and have a TIG welded or something, but the hose clamp might work for now. So that's a wrap for today. A couple things that we still need to do. This thing's gonna be running really quick here. So within the next couple weeks, definitely wanna show the, the radiator install with the fan shroud that we use and the fuel system. So we're gonna show fuel rail, fuel pressure regulator, and the Wabro fuel pump install as well with the hanger. So stay tuned. I appreciate everybody's support with this channel. If you don't mind leaving a like, leaving a comment, it helps out a lot. And uh, we'll see you for the next one.